It's happening. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to uh, continue a series that I talked about that we're going to start here on the channel, um, how to grow a small account starting with $1,000. So I posted that video and got tremendous amount of feedback from a lot of you guys um, you know, saying you guys were interested. So um, it, that was encouraging. So now, um, and I told you guys I was going to create an account and, and deposit $1,000 in the account. So I've actually created the account and I have a I'm ready to deposit my $1,000. So if any of you guys that was interested in doing this has already deposited their $1,000 and is ready to go, kudos to you. Um, right now, I'm going to go through the process to deposit my $1,000 and then I'm going to lay some ground rules here and then we'll go from there. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so guys when i mentioned this uh it was an opportunity for a lot of you guys to learn with a small account and see how you can grow it so that you can then take what you learn with a small account like this and scale it so that if you have two three four five thousand dollars in your account you can find ways and find stocks that you can actually grow uh grow your account to maybe 10 15 20 uh, to whatever amount that you feel comfortable growing it to. But again, this is not for you to make enough money to buy a Lamborghini. This is not a Lamborghini making uh, a strategy. This is not going to earn you a Lamborghini. That's why you're putting just $1,000 in there. I know a lot of people on YouTube will tell you that you can take $1,000 and convert it or and transform that into a million dollars in six months. I'm not that guy. I don't have that crystal ball. I don't have that magic touch. So here is just going to be straight up strategy that we are going to implement and again the strategy is solely based on the fact that you are not going to be a greedy savage you're going to take your small gains and move on i don't want you to come back and cry like oh i missed out on that we're going to miss out on a lot of stuff and we're going to probably lose money on some other stuff but i want you to have a level head and focus and stay with the strategy as soon as we see consistent growth in the account that's what we're looking for so that we can again you can take that strategy and apply it to other uh, to your other accounts that are bigger and, and grow those accounts. So right now I'm going to jump on my phone and actually go through the process of uh, depositing my own money in the account. So remember I told you guys that I was going to set up a new account, which I have set up right now. So as you can see in the account, there's uh, really one stock in there and this is from uh, Weibo, the free stock I got from Weibo. So this doesn't count. So if you have, uh, again, guys, uh, one thing I, I almost left out here, um, I'm going to be using Weibo for this. For, uh, those of you guys already know my my trading strategy and the platform that I use is Weibo. So if you want to try Weibo, I have a link in the description below that you can definitely sign up. But otherwise, uh, you can use other platforms. But the only reason why I prefer Weibo most specifically is the fact that they're after hours and pre-market hours are just phenomenal. For me, I'm in a central time zone, so the market opens at 3, 3, at 3 a.m. in the morning and then closes at 7 p.m. So I can trade all day long uh, using that. But when you trade pre-market and after hours, which we're going to discuss again in subsequent videos doing this, uh, there is some limitations that you, you are going to see along the way. But I love Weibo because of their after hours and pre-market trading. So that's one of the reasons. So again, uh, right now, if you go into your account, if you're using Weibo again, I'm going to go on that transfer. I'm going to go on that deposit because I want to deposit some money. And then right now, I want to deposit $1,000. So I'm going to deposit $1,000 and I say, okay, and transfer $1,000 to Weibo. So now I'm going to do confirm. They're asking that and all the uh, disclaimers here. Yep, I want to do that. And it's submitting. Hopefully this goes through because I've, I've seen some people have issues just depositing money into their account. So let's hope that this goes through. Yeah, deposit request uh, has been successful, successfully received. So that went through. So view... Uh, like a day ago, so now it's pending, and so I do have a thousand dollars that I am waiting uh, for it to get into my account. So if we go back into the account right now, if you see, um, there is nothing happening, uh, but I'm waiting for that. So when that money comes in, it's going to go on there where you see it says. Um, uh, on set of cash or set of cash, but it's going to show you that you have a thousand dollars. So as soon as this um, money gets settled in the account, 
then I'm going to start picking um, some stocks that I'm going to be investing in. But if you already have your $1,000 deposited, I want you to start with uh, look at ticket symbol and I O Neo. That's one of the ones that I like. Um, again, the reason why I like Neo this week in particular is because Neo Day is coming up. So Neo Day is it, it's pretty much like Tesla Day where they unveil their new products um, and they talk about their long term features. Uh, so in the future, they have um, they improving their batteries. Uh, they bring bringing a new sedan that would compete with Tesla. So when I when I hear news like that, those are what I call catalysts. And uh, for those of you who don't quite understand what that is, a catalyst is something that would actually push the price of a stock to go up. So when, if they're talking about they're bringing new sedans, they're adding sedans to their, their, their lineup, that's pretty good. If they're saying they're building new batteries that's going to last longer, that's pretty good. If they say they're doing their battery as a service, B-A-A-S, BAS, battery as a service, that's pretty good. And they're also doing um, on-demand charging where you, if you have your vehicle, your trap somewhere, you can actually call them they'll bring a van and charge your car right there so some of the things i think that would be a catalyst for you to be able to make some profit off of neo but now here's how i am going to play these if i were to trade this and again guys um i want to be very very clear here what i'm telling you guys is no there's no guarantee that you're going to make money so do this at your own risk i'm not a financial advisor by any means i'm just telling you guys what i'm going to do so if you're doing it know that you're doing it at your own risk so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a dip in NEO and buy that dip. Or even today, um, after hours before the market closes at 7.30 Central Time, I'm going to find a dip and buy that dip. So once I buy the dip, and I'm, I'm going to hold that stock. Um, you can put a sell, a limit sell order so that if the price goes up a dollar or a dollar fifty, you can sell it. Even if it go, even if it sell and then keep going up, that's fine. You take that profit and then we are going to find the next uh, stock to put it into. So again, that's how I want your mindset to work. So um, unfortunately for me, I don't have my money in today. So I am not going to be doing any trades um, today. Um, but if you are interested in actually trading, that is the that's the best strategy that I'm going to implement. So I'm going to start with again ticket symbol and I O. Um, do some research again about these companies. Um, and if you have some other companies that you know that are good companies that you want to either uh, swing trade them and then post them again post them so that everybody can have access to. And the other thing that I mentioned about you is I talked about. Um, how I was going to communicate this to you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing videos update, uh, video updates like this on, on, on the channel, but also I'm going to be posting on Facebook group because, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense for me. I don't have the time to be posting everywhere since we already have that Facebook group. And if you if you don't know where, the link's in the description to go join the group. So it's a free group. So join it and I'm going to be posting in there. And before I even buy stuff, or even before I do some videos here, I'll probably post it in that group and tell you guys to um, either trade this pre-market or trade this after hours and again some stocks that's one of the reasons why i like Weibo. some stocks i'm only going to trade them pre-market after that i'm out and i'm not going to touch it again so if you don't have pre-market on your in your broker account then you have you're probably gonna not gonna run the same um way that we are going to be running for people that have Weibo. so Again, I want you to be very, very strategic here. Do your homework, do your research, and understand that there's going to be risk involved. And understand that you can how you want to minimize your risk. How much are you willing to lose? So if you're going to trade, do you put all one thousand dollars on the line, or do you put five hundred on the line and then hang on to five hundred? So we're going to discuss some of those things uh, in subsequent videos, and I'm going to break down uh, what I'm going to be doing here for you guys, so you guys can actually see. There's going to be times where I'm going to be super aggressive and it's going to be times so I'm going to be super conservative because I understand that the market would probably throw a curveball at some point and sometimes we'll pick some stocks and it might not pop the way we want them that's okay and we're going to you know get rid of those and keep keep it moving so that's it for this video guys I just wanted to kind of give you guys uh, that little update and show you that hey my money is on the way and as soon as I get that money 
uh, in here we are on to business and for those of you that are already ready to go like i said uh, uh nio is one that i really like for a swing trade again let me know in the comment section if you do have any questions guys again we're starting up um this week again it's just going to be kind of a up and down week until i have my money transferred and then next week bam we're gonna hit the ground running and if you can start running this week i want you to be able to make at least fifty dollars or so or a hundred dollars before even next week so the goal would be to get that kind of return fifty to a hundred dollars every week or every day uh, before you know we can you know get together again next week so let me know in the comment section if you have any any questions and as always guys always do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.